So in general, this is also based on the Gleason score and on your PSA, uh, and then also on imaging studies that have been done or not. However, if, the, if you do the surgery, you get the prostate out, and when the pathologist <laughs> looks at it under a microscope and says, hey, the margins are clear, there's no invasion of the seminal vesicles, which are structures that go with the prostate when we take it out. Um, and there's no capsular penetration in, uh, of the cancer in the prostate, the cure rate, I would guess, would be over 95% for, with that type of pathology. Um, if the prostate cancer penetrates the capsule, or you have a positive margin, or it's invaded the seminal vesicles, we get concerned that the prostate cancer cells may be outside of the prostate. And that's when we would, we would recommend you to get adjuvant therapy, meaning either radiation therapy or hormone therapy or a combination of the two, um, if we feel that this is a high-risk prostate cancer. Now, there are some guys, and a lot of urologists, if you get that on pathology, but the PSA remains, remains undetectable, Sometimes we tell you, hey, hold on, you don't have to do any of this stuff right now. Your PSA has remained undetectable. We'll watch it. If the PSA starts trending up, for us, if you had an undetectable PSA and the PSA has trended above 0 0.2 up to 0 0.3, that's when we say, hey, you should consider doing radiation therapy or hormone therapy. With After radiation, it's a little bit different. Um, their cutoff is if your PSA goes above two or has gone two points above the, your nadir, meaning what your PSA has gone to the lowest after radiation. Because after radiation, sometimes your PSA doesn't go to zero. Actually, most of the time it doesn't. It'll go down low, but it won't hit zero. And that's because there's benign glands in there that haven't died after the radiation, uh, and they still produce a little bit of PSA. Um, and so you'll have a nadir of your, of your PSA, but it won't hit zero. So their frame of reference for failure would be if your nadir, say, was 0 0.6, if your PSA went up to 2.6, they say, okay, this is considered a failure and we should consider doing something else, either hormone therapy, cryotherapy, or getting your prostate removed. What we usually like to see is after a, your prostate be removed, your your PSA is undetectable, less than 0 0.1. So we, I usually check it at a month to see if it's gone down to zero. Uh, and if it hasn't, then I'm concerned that there's prostate cancer somewhere. Mm -hmm.